Oh my, okay, I'm just gonna stand. Oh, I don't think he's too sure about the balloons. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to This Says Me Kitchen. It does look a little bit like a horse poo. <laughs> This is me and today is Mickey's 21st birthday. So because it's a big celebration, Mickey's big birthday, I'm going to be throwing him the best horse 21st birthday party in the world. Oh yeah, you guys, you better believe it. This guy is going to have a great time. There's going to be cake, there's going to be decorations, presents. So I'm really excited. Also, I am actually throwing this on Mickey's actual birthday, which we don't actually know when Mickey's birthday is, but I've always celebrated it on um, the 17th of March, which is also St. Patrick's Day, because Mickey is an Irish pony. He was born in Ireland. Um, so I've always celebrated on St. Patrick's Day. Um, I thought it'd be really cute. Um, also, if you haven't noticed already, I am wearing um, my new shamrock hoodie, which I designed especially for Mickey's 21st birthday, because on the sleeve, it's got 21 shamrocks. Rocks. So one for each year of this guy's life so far, which is pretty cool. Um, so anyway, today we have got a lot planned for this guy. So I've already given him a bit of a groom. So he's looking nice and fabulous for his birthday. Um, I think the first thing we need to do is get the sort of party started. So we need to put up some decorations. So I have some bunting and then I have some old balloons as well that I can blow up as well. So yeah, let's get, in, get it looking amazing, mate. Yeah, Licky. <laughs> okay, so I have this bunting and I want to put it up. I'm worried the horses are gonna like destroy it and eat it. So I've gotta be really careful. I don't want it to get on the ground as well because I don't want it to, you know, break or get dirty. Hello, Casp. Please do not eat the bunting. I know it looks delicious, but it's, I promise you it won't be as delicious as your cake will be later. Okay, thank you. <laughs> He's like, what is this? What are, you, what are you tying up here? No, no, no. One side, complete. Okay, this is the side that I'm more concerned about because I just know that Mickey's gonna want to eat it. Where should I, the thing is it's just a little bit too short or too long. Should I hang it up like here? There we go, let's put it in front of the stable door. Oh, Mickey, I, I'm not sure what he's, he's looking at it like, oh my gosh, what is that? Oh no, it's, the wind is flapping it up. Will this be okay? I might need to like get something to just tie it up with. Let's just hope it doesn't blow away because it's a bit windy today, guys. Okay, Mick, I've got a purple balloon here to match your head collar because, you know, gotta be matchy-matchy. So let's, let's see if I can actually blow a balloon up. Not too bad. Okay, I'm not sure what he's going to think about the balloons. I don't think he's ever seen a balloon before. Ooh. Oh, wow, it's a balloon. Ooh, <laughs> you're not too sure. I wonder if he wants he want to lick it. Is that, hmm, I'm not sure. Ooh, okay, I'll do another one. I'll do a blue one as well. <laughs> hey, ooh, do you like the blue one? It matches your eyes, yeah. You know, it's an equestrian birthday when you use baler twine to tie the balloons up. Okay, we have one balloon attached. Now for the balloon number two. Actually, the blue and the purple does look very good together, if I do say so myself. Okay, there we go, we had the balloons. Oh, I don't think he's too sure about the balloons. Okay, where should we tie them? Should we tie them up here? I reckon here would look quite cute. I can tie it to this hook quite easily. Oh, do you like the balloons now? You're not too scared of it anymore, yeah. Putting up the decorations took me a little bit longer than expected, so much so that while I was doing it, I started ranting about single-use plastic. I am going to be saving the turtles. I'm going to be disposing of this single-use plastic in the correct way. And this is stuff that we just had lying around at home. And I thought, you know what? Might as well use it for the video. Okay, let's do the little tying up. 
I don't think Mickey was very impressed because one hour later and I was still tying the Begler twine to the balloons. I don't think Mickey's gonna be as bothered by it as Casper is. So I think that's fine that it's a bit close to his stable. Hello. Probably should have cut the string beforehand, but you know what? And at this moment, Mickey's probably thinking, yeah, you should have cut the string because you almost took my face out. Why am I doing a quick release knot? You know, you're in a question when you want to tie any knot, you want to do a quick release knot. Okay, we have the bunting. We have the balloons. The, bun uh, the balloons do have a bit of hay and Mickey hair on, but we'll ignore that. You know, it's a horse birthday party. Okay, so we've done the decorations. Now we need to get prepared for the party. We need to put our party outfits on. So I do actually have some party hats. <laughs> okay, you guys aren't even ready for this. What color do you think I should go for? I do quite like the yellow, but I also quite like the red. <gasps> Should I go for green and then a bit matchy? I think green for me would be quite cute. Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's see why I look. I feel like I'm gonna look like a garden gnome. <laughs> there we go, guys. We are having the best birthday party. <laughs> okay, Mickey, what color am I feeling for you? I'm feeling the red, actually. I feel like the red and the purple combo might not be too bad. I don't, if he doesn't like it, I won't force him to have it on his head, but I would like to see what he looks like being an actual unicorn. <laughs> okay, Mickey. <laughs> Mickey, please. Mickey, do you not want to be a unicorn on your 21st birthday? Mickey isn't the greatest fan of the party hat, so if he's not gonna wear a party hat, I can't really force Casper to wear one because Casper, well, Mickey's like supposed to be the chilled one. He's supposed to be the one that wouldn't really mind these kind of things, but I don't want him to be stressed, especially, you know, he's a birthday boy. It's it's his day, it's his party. He can do what he likes, so I'm not gonna force him to put the hat on, you know. I'm not gonna make him do anything he doesn't want to do, so he's just not living for the party hat, so <laughs> I don't think he particularly wants a hat on, so. Sorry, mate. No hat for you today. You are a true unicorn in himself. You know he doesn't. Need, he doesn't need a party hat to pretend to be one because you are a unicorn, Mickey. So the party hat was a no-show. Uh, no party hat for Mickey. So we've got the next best thing is a birthday <laughs> necklace, which I think is going to look very cool. Well, it's kind of like a birthday bow tie. Uh, yes, I'm using Baylor twine. Um, Okay, we've got the bow. Now it's time to make it birthday. Here you can just see on Mickey's face, he's like, what on earth is this girl going to bring out next? All right, here it is. Here is the birthday sign. I think he should be fine with this being on because it's not like near as is. I really hope it stays on because it's just like a little clippy thing. But there we go, it's your birthday mix. How do you feel being 21? Old oh, man, yeah. There we go. He's got his birthday medallion. Now it's time for presents and cake. So I think we're gonna do presents first and then do cake afterwards, just because I think he's gonna really like his present. And I also think that if he's filled up on cake, he's not gonna want his present and he's gonna want to open his present. So let's see what it is. I have no clue why I called Mickey's medallion a medallion, but maybe if it's a birthday medallion, it can be called a medallion. Okay, so Mickey actually has two presents. Um, I'll put this one down for a second because um, this is more just something I needed to buy rather than a present, so I didn't wrap it up because also this would be really difficult to wrap, but I've actually got Mickey a new little chain because his actual one is a bit on the broken side. So we can clip his new one on, guys. Okay, because basically the clips on this is broken so he can kind of escape sometimes, uh, which isn't great. So he's got his nice new one. Mickey just destroys things, so um, I'm not really surprised that he broke his last one. So hopefully this nice new blue one, well, they're both, look how different they are. So this one I've had for like a good couple of years and look how cracked it is. And Mickey has stepped on this, snotted on it, everything. So it's got a nice new one. So Mickey, I know you usually can't have nice things because you destroy everything, but please keep this nice because um, money is expensive. <laughs> And that was the last time Mickey and his old stable chain ever saw each other. 
Okay, so now it's time for Mickey's actual present. He's already giving it a lick attack. So let's see if he, he wants to open it up. Mickey, you can't lick it open. I don't think that's gonna well, help. Do you want me to help? Okay. <laughs> He's so good because I always teach him not to bite, but okay, now you can bite. Dig in there, kill it. <laughs> open it up, rip it open. Okay. I'll make sure he doesn't eat the wrapping paper, guys, don't worry. He's just wanting to lick it. Okay, let's see if he'll, there we go. Break into it, break into it. The <laughs> 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 poor present. Okay, oh, that is grim. You're not gonna want to lick that. Okay, do you wanna open it up? Okay, we'll do it like, like back in the day. Will you bite it? And lift it open. Are you just gonna lick it? He's just in such a licky mood. I think he can smell them. So anyway, <laughs> present reveal. <laughs> this is Mickey's present. I got him some unicorn treats. As you can see, he's going absolutely crazy for them. So, okay, mix. I'm gonna open them up. I'm gonna open them up. Okay, you can you can have a few, but you can't eat the whole packet. I know it's your birthday, but we've got cake, so you've got to save your tummy for later. Okay. Oh my gosh, they're pink. That's so cool. Okay, here you go, mix. Oh my gosh, ravenous, you ravenous, you ravenous birthday boy. Okay, there we go, <laughs> hand nice and flat. Oh my gosh, my hand is just covered in slobber. Ooh, Casper is wanting some treats. <laughs> you're gonna pop the balloons if you get too excited. Okay, you're gonna be a, more of a gentle unicorn. There we go, there's some treats, good boy. There we go, sharing is caring, so you've got some treats as well. And now it's time to see what they think to the birthday cake. Hello. Okay, so here is the cake. But before I get do a cake reveal, I actually made it a few days ago. So here's a clip of me making it. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to This Says Me Kitchen. So we're gonna be doing some cooking today. Um, I've done a little bit of cooking on my channel, which has always been quite interesting. So today we're actually gonna be baking Mickey a cake. And I've looked online at some different recipes and things, and I've basically decided I'm gonna wing it. I'm gonna make a This Says Me <laughs> horse birthday cake. I don't know, I'm just gonna be using the stuff I have at home lying around. And the main ingredient I'm gonna be using is actually some Bailey's low cal balancer. So I thought, you know what, Mickey and Casper are a little bit on the porky side. I don't particularly want to use oats. A lot of recipes online use oats because if I give that to Casper, he's gonna be like mega spicy, like that's just gonna be dangerous. And also I don't want them to get chubby. So although it's a birthday cake, um, we have lots of yummy goodies here. It's still gonna be a little bit more on the healthy side. Um, so that's gonna be kind of my main ingredient. I think the idea is kind of to do it like a cheesecake. We also um, have some chaff here. This is some of the um, light chaff from Bailey's. And I'm gonna use this basically on the top. I think this can be kind of like the icing, maybe, we'll see. I've also just got some bog standard treats here. M might be able to make them into some sort of mush. If not, they'll be cute toppings. Carrots as well, you know, might get a grater, grate some carrots into it. Got some mints as well, some more treats, a treat bar, water to water down this. And I've also got some molasses as well because all of the online recipes said to use molasses. So hopefully that will help everything kind of stick together. But I've never seen anybody do it with this. So we will see how it goes. It might be a disaster, but you know what? If it doesn't look like a cake, I'm sure Mickey won't mind if it's food he's happy so let's get cracking on and I almost forgot but I actually got Mickey some 21 candles as well for his 21st birthday I can also reuse these when I turn 21 as well but that's like in two and a bit years so not for a while but anyway I feel like the 21 candles are so cute because they're pink as well so it's gonna match his nose I feel like he's gonna love that they're also glittery as well so they're pretty cool I actually got this from Poundland which is basically the British version of the dollar store for any Americans out there and then I also got some happy birthday um, to you plates and I thought these would be really cute for putting on a little plate for all of the equines and I've also <laughs> got some apples so I think we're all set so the first thing I think I'm gonna do is somehow make this into a cake mixture <laughs> all right so I've washed my hands now I'm gonna <laughs> roll up my sleeves so I'm worried that I'm gonna do too much or make it too sloppy or put too much water in. So I think I'm gonna start off with just putting like a tiny bit of water in. 
because I actually do this quite a lot when I make Willow's food in the morning because she's so fussy. Um, she loves this stuff, but she has to have it wet and it kind of goes into a bit of a paste. I might actually get like a mixing spoon. I guess I could use my hands, but I feel like a mixing spoon would work quite well. Let's grab one. Sorry, mum. So it's kind of going a little bit more into a paste, but we're getting there, guys. This actually smells quite nice. It smells like grass. It's squidgy. How shapeful is it? Like, could you make it into like a little cake? Oh my gosh, my hands are gonna get so messy. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there, guys. That actually looks like a little cake, actually. <laughs> okay, it does look a little bit like a horse poo. <laughs> but, like a little nugget. <laughs> okay, I'm going to... <laughs> I'm already so messy. And I, I, I we're like one minute in. Yes, I did put it in the cake tin that I'm gonna be using later, but I feel like that's probably about enough. You know what, let's just put it all in. I feel like I might just might as well just add all of this. I feel like that's definitely gonna be enough. Okay, you've really gotta mix it because I feel like it's just all the stuff at the bottom that's so slushy. It feels a bit like making bread when you've got to sort of knead it. This sounds weird, but it feels kind of satisfying. It's a bit like, you know, those slime videos on Instagram that just somehow appear on your, um, not your For You page, you've been watching too much TikTok. You're sort of recommended. You just randomly get slime videos, even though I never really search or look up slime videos. They're just kind of there. I'm surprised, guys. This isn't too bad. Okay, yeah, I feel like it's pretty much perfect. I don't know if I want to add any more water. That you can shape quite easily. This is amazing. This is <laughs> so much better than I thought. I feel like it's going to come out a bit like a sandcastle. Like I'm going to put it in, squish it down, tap it, do a little magic tap on the top, if you know what I mean. And then bam, it's a cake castle. So I feel like it's actually gonna be too bad. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands and then I'll get back to you guys. All right, so to add a little bit more sort of texture to it, I guess, make it a little bit more interesting, I'm gonna grate some carrots into it. I've also just been using the carrot to kind of mix it around like this. So a little life hack, if you don't wanna use your mum's wooden spoon, <laughs> um, you could use a carrot. So what's gonna be the best way like this? Also, um, for any younger people out there watching my videos, just be careful when using knives and graters. Please do not hurt yourself. Ooh, the grater carrot's actually looking quite good. This is a bit of a workout for your arms, guys. Also, my fingernails look absolutely gross because <laughs> they've got all the food in it. Looks like I've just been mucking out. Okay, I'm gonna give that to my guinea pig because um, I do not want to <laughs> grate such a small thing because I just know I'm gonna end up hurting myself. Ooh, look at all that carrot. Oh my gosh, they're gonna love this. I'm just gonna <laughs> get the bits from inside. Uh, now I've done my carrot. I'm not actually gonna mix it in yet. I think I'm gonna mix it in right at the end. I'm gonna use an apple now and grate the apple into it as well because Mickey absolutely loves apples. I don't know what it is, but apples I think are one of his favorite sort of fruit or vegetables. So like the fresh kind of treats I give him rather than normal treats. I think it's because they're so juicy. It just makes him dribble loads and him being a very licky pony. I've never actually grated an apple before. I don't think. I don't know if anyone else does this. I have an apple every morning with my breakfast, pretty much. And I'm the sort of person where I will never throw away my apple core. I will always put it on the side for the horses for later. And even when I went on holiday with my friends, what I did was I, <laughs> I had an apple and I didn't throw my apple in the bin. I just put it on the side on the counter and they were like, Esme, that is so gross. You didn't throw your like food away, your apple away. Like why did, you, why did you not throw the core away? And I was like, oh, oopsie, sorry guys. Cause I'm usually quite clean and, clean and tidy up after myself, but they thought it was quite strange. I just left an apple core on the side. And I was like, oh, I was leaving it for the, oh, the horses aren't here. <laughs> I'm on holiday. So there's one apple done. Gosh, all the juices is spraying on me. All right, so I have my apple and carrot sort of mixture. So I'm now gonna add that into the <laughs> local balancer. Ooh, that's not actually looking too bad. I hope the consistency doesn't change too much with the added apple and carrot. I didn't want to add too much. Like I wanted to add enough that it's kind of like a treat, but then I didn't want to add so much that it doesn't really stick together like a cake. Ooh, we're getting there. I have quite a lot of mixture here. I might be able to make a few little cupcakes as well. Okay, so I think that's pretty much mixed. So I think if I leave the chaff for, I think I'm gonna use the chaff as the icing or the sort of layer on top. I just don't know, maybe I might put some treats in. I feel like 
I'm gonna use many of the treats for decoration, I think. Ooh, I'll tell you what I'm gonna add is. Little bit of molasses. Now, I know this is really sugary and probably isn't very great for the horses, but all of the ingredients online said to put this in. Don't wanna add too much. I think that'll be enough for now. Um, we'll see how it goes. Oh my gosh, this smells so much. <laughs> okay, this is gonna make it super sticky. Okay, <laughs> I feel like they're gonna love it with the molasses. It's definitely a special treat for them. I feel like the molasses actually made it so it sticks really well. Put a tiny bit more in, don't tell anybody. Okay, that was quite a big dollop. Okay, let's put you away. <laughs> okay, I don't think, um, I don't really want to add that much more to the actual mixture because I feel like it's one of those things where if you put too much in it, it's just not gonna work out. Okay, so these are the cake tins we're gonna be using because we have quite a lot. I'm actually gonna bake it a little bit like a Victoria sponge where you kind of have a layer and then some icing or I don't know what I'm gonna put in the middle, probably molasses, and then another layer on top. I think that'll work quite well. So I'm gonna be using these cake tins. They're the special ones where you can pop them out just because I thought, because it's quite dense, it'll be probably good to kind of pop it out a bit like making when you make jelly where it's kind of like a mould. I feel like that's going to work quite well, so I'm just going to oil it so it doesn't stick. That'll do. Obviously this isn't going in the oven, so um, I don't really know how this is going to work. I think I'm just going to, you know, get my fingers, dig in, I guess. Might give that a little bit of a oil around. Make sure it doesn't stick really well. Time to put it in. I don't know if I should like put it in and then mush it down. I'm gonna move these birthday plates out of the way so I can, I'm gonna use my, <laughs> gonna like knead it in. I feel like this might work quite well. Yeah, it's so much like cheesecake. It's actually looking so good with the little bits of apple, a little bit of carrot in, just to give it a bit of color. Ooh, okay. Right, so um, I was gonna say I've let them set, but to be honest, it's not barely been like a minute. I just think because they're so dense, it's just gonna stay how it is. They don't need to go in the oven, they don't need to go in the fridge. I also have this super cool plate kind of thing. Um, just because I didn't want to use one of our sort of China kind of pot ceramic plates because no Mickey, he will destroy it. Actually, this one seems more like a bottom one, okay. I'm gonna have to do the magic tap. Okay, let's hope it, the magic tap works. Do I just push it out? Ooh, okay, okay. I feel like I'm gonna squish it in the process. Ooh, guys, it's a cake. Okay, that looks so good. It's actually looking slightly cakey. I'm gonna, for the, icing or the like center. Usually you'd like put buttercream or something. I'm gonna be using the molasses. Actually, wait. Y yes. <laughs> okay, that's gonna be enough. That's gonna be enough. Okay, I'm gonna get like a little knife. Oh no, I feel like it's just gonna soak. It's gonna soak in, isn't it? It's gonna just soak into the it's not really gonna be much of a center. That looks good. I do not trust myself putting that straight on top, so I'm gonna get another plate, put it on the plate, and then transfer it over. Let's, let's hope this one works as well. I'm gonna have to do the magic tap again, because I think the magic tap worked. Okay. Okay, let's see. Bless me, that was violent. You gotta be careful. Okay, 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 okay. Yes, boys, we did it. Okay, this is looking good. Oh, it's nice and it's got that sponginess. It, oh, I've got to transfer it, haven't I? I really don't want to do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess it up. Do I, do, do I go like, okay, okay. I feel like this bit looks kind of messy, so it can be the bottom, okay. Ooh, that was careful, 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 careful. <laughs> Careful, careful. Ooh! Damn, that's looking good. That is definitely looking more cakey. For the, for the topping, I feel like this is gonna be the really fun, exciting part. Okay, let's move you into the center so everyone can see your whole glory. Okay, I'm gonna put, 
<laughs> this is just me overloading my horses with sugar. Not good. Okay, I'm gonna put some molasses on the top. Not too much though. Let's <laughs> put on some of the chaff. Like, I honestly thought it was just gonna be, it wasn't gonna look like a cake at all. I thought it was just gonna be a load of horse food just squidged into a thing. But, oh my gosh, I'm so proud. Okay. Ooh, okay, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the treats as decorations, so. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like rock solid. There we go. And then to finish it off, the icing on the cake or the cherry on top, we've got the polo on top. Bam. Okay guys, here is the cake. And we cannot forget to put the little 21 on for Mickey. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna remove the center mint. There we go. Oh my goodness. This is looking so much better than I thought it was. I thought, I honestly went into this video thinking it's gonna be a disaster. It, we're just gonna have loads of treats mushed up, put it in a bucket, he'll eat it anyway. But A for effort, this isn't looking, this is, if somebody said to you, what does this look like? It does look like a cake. That's not too bad. So anyway guys, I will see you on Mickey's birthday when he gets to eat this delicious thing and see if he likes it because I think he's gonna love it. Time to get the cake out. It's still looking pretty fresh. Okay, don't drop it. Cool, there we go guys. Okay, okay I need to get a, oh, I didn't get the um, birthday candles. Should I put them on or should I not? Because the thing is, like, I would sing happy birthday to Mickey, but I'm worried that the YouTube police will um, get angry if I sing happy birthday in case it's copyrighted. Um, so we're not gonna sing, I'm gonna sing him happy birthday off camera. <laughs> so, yes, I know, the cake is coming. So I'm gonna get a knife and cut this bad boy up. <laughs> Casper, oh my gosh. I am so worried that when I cut this cake, I'm going to destroy it. I'm also probably not using the best knife. Like, this is the knife that I kind of just use for cutting bagel twine and string and things at the yard. Oh no, it's crumbling. Okay, let's just ignore that. Oh no, there goes the treats. This is a disaster. Okay, I'm moving it around my side so you can't see me cut it up because this is gonna be, this is just pure chaos. Okay, Mickey can have the first, oh my gosh. Okay. Let's get the plate. <laughs> Nothing to see here, guys. Nothing to see here. Let's cut this out in the edit. Nobody will know. <laughs> okay, okay. We've got lift off. Okay, we've got the piece. Okay, that doesn't actually look too bad. Like presentation wise, I don't think Mary Berry would be giving me a 10 out of 10, but it's the taste that counts. <laughs> this can be some leftovers that they can have later. But that that is kind of cake shaped. Like probably humans wouldn't want me touching the cake like this. But I feel like that's fine. So okay, we've got the piece. Let's see what Mickey thinks. Also, it looks a lot better when I show it around like that. <laughs> oh, Mickey, Mickey, don't. Oh, Casper's really wanting it. Okay, here's the cake. Okay, Mickey, calm down. Calm down, birthday boy. Okay, back it up, birthday boy. Back it up. 
back it up. There we go, there's your cake. Let's see what he thinks. Okay, he just went for a right old chunk then. <laughs> Mickey, do you like it? Oh, he's going for it. Oh, num num num. I think he likes it guys. Mickey, what do you rate it out of 10? I reckon, I reckon it's an 11 out of 10. I reckon it's that good. It goes off the scale. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut <laughs> Casper a piece up while Mickey is digging in, because if not, that boy is not gonna be happy. Oh, <laughs> again, we're not marking it on presentation. It's all about if they like it or not. On a scale of one to 10, what do you, would you give it for presentation? Mm, yeah, I'd give it about four as well. Okay, here we go then, boy. Here we go, good man. Oh, he's liking the flavor. Not too bad on the texture. I think it's clean plates all round today, guys. Okay, so to wash down the cake, I think he's just finishing licking up all the scraps. We actually have some apple juice for Mickey to try. I don't think he's had apple juice before, but some people do put it in their horse's water if they don't like drinking from their water bucket. So although this does have quite a bit of sugar in, it is Mickey's birthday, I usually don't give him apple juice. Um, but it'll just be fun to see what he thinks about it. Mickey, thanks. Do you wanna have a lick in here? He's quite licky, so he might want to lick it, lick it up. Ooh, ooh, is that nice? Ooh, ooh, do you like that mix? I think it's a thumbs up for the, oh, I'm getting it all over my hand. He's just like licking the cup rather than the actual juice. Ooh, ooh, I think he likes it, guys. Is that yummy? Yum. Oh my gosh, guys, Mickey is loving the apple juice. I think I found his new <laughs> favorite drink. Well, he hasn't really had anything else apart from water. So I think this, this is a really big treat for you, Mickey. You are getting quite a bit on the floor though. He is getting quite a bit on the floor. Like, there we go. The last bit and oh! <laughs> oh, is that yummy? I think he really likes the apple juice. <laughs> oh, there's like a tiny bit left. Yes. Oh, I think Casp wants some apple juice now. Let's see what he thinks to it. It's like, mmm. Ooh. <laughs> you liking it? Oh. Oh. Oh, he's loving it. He's really, <laughs> he's really going for it. The thing is, he's got a better technique of drinking the apple juice than Mickey. Mickey was just kind of like licking the cup and Casp was really getting in there. Oh wow, oh my gosh. If Casper never drinks, when we, when he like hates drinking out of any buckets. Like even the bucket in his stable, he's not the biggest fan of drinking. He prefers that in the morning, he'll go out and drink from the water trough in the field. So I just need to know to give him some apple juice. We'll put some apple juice in his water and he'll love it. Like he never, he hates drinking out of buckets at shows or when I take him to like lessons and things and we take him out and about and we have a water bucket, he just won't drink out of it. But he's loving the apple juice. Would like some more? Yeah? Okay, I think, he, I think he's had enough because there was a little bit more in Casper's cup than Mickey's because he's a bigger horse. But I think, I think you really like that. Well done, Casper, I'm proud of you. Try new things. Good boy. Okay, everybody, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, seeing Mickey's celebrating his birthday. I think him and Casper very much enjoyed the cake and the apple juice as well. I'm so happy with how the cake turned out as well. So. We know what to give them for the next couple of days. They're gonna be having that for their treats. Um, you can have cake for breakfast tomorrow morning. Yeah, okay. He's actually really quite liking the balloons, which I would be quite surprised about because usually he hates anything flappy. But I think because there's treats and food around, he's just not thinking about how spooky it is. He quite likes the balloons. Okay, do not pop it. Do, don't pop the balloon, don't pop the balloon. <laughs> he would not like that. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you're new or have not done so already, <laughs> Casper, shh, I'm trying to do the outro. <laughs> Please like and subscribe as it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. Um, hey, Casper, shh, Casper, shh. <laughs> this is such a chaotic outro. <laughs> okay, so thanks again for watching. <laughs> Casper, oh my, okay, I'm just gonna stand stand here. You're not even the birthday boy. The thing is, because it's Mickey's birthday and Mickey's getting all the attention. He, yeah, now Mickey's getting in the strop because he's not getting the attention. This is what it's like having two children. Okay, I'm gonna be in the middle. Both of you have my attention, okay. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all next time. Bye! <laughs>